Alright YouTube, so today we are here to ask the question, what the fuck is wrong with Infinity Ward? Seems like a pretty simple question. I mean, these days they're most known for making two of the worst Call of Duties ever made back to back. They made Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, which are both considered by a lot of the community as the worst Call of Duties ever made. It just depends on who you talk to as to which of the two are actually worse. And these are two of the games we'll be referencing the most in this video, but we are mostly talking about today is some of their decisions, the decisions they make for their games. For starters, the Infinity Ward of today is not the same Infinity Ward that made Call of Duty Modern Warfare or even Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I don't know the entire story. I do know that some employees had issues with Activision. They ended up leaving Infinity Ward, going on to make Respawn Entertainment and to make the Titanfall series. I don't know if Respawn's made anything else other than Titanfall. But that's what they're best known for. And the guys of today are a completely different group that made the classic good Call of Duties. One quick one to get us started is the Infinite Warfare bundle with Modern Warfare Remaster. Like, this was the only way. Like, they announced, we are doing Modern Warfare Remaster, and so many people got excited, and you could not get it unless you bought Infinite Warfare as well. So you had to pay, like, I think it was like 80 bucks for both of them together. Not that bad. You're only paying 20 bucks for Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, but you had to buy Infinite Warfare as well. Fucking terrible. But, of course, nowadays you can buy MWR separate, but for the longest time, you could not. But again, we are here to talk today about some of the decisions they made for some of their games. Right now, we're going to discuss Infinite Warfare and one of their most recent things for this game, Gesture Warfare. Do you know what this shit is? Because it fucking surprised me. I don't know if there's enough fucking words in the English language to describe to you guys exactly how stupid what we just witnessed was. Gesture warfare. Your character does little gestures with their fucking hands, and that's apparently how you attack or kill enemies. I, I couldn't believe this when I seen it. I tweeted out about this. A lot of people found the tweet funny because I just tweeted, I quoted the tweet and said, what the fuck did I just see or witness or something like that? Like, I don't understand who gave this idea a go-ahead. It is absolutely the dumbest thing I've ever seen added to Call of Duty. Ever. Fucking ever. It's insulting to me as a fan. Even though I don't own Infinite Warfare, don't even play Infinite Warfare, and honestly don't even really care about Infinite Warfare, as a Call of Duty player and as a, someone who's in the fan base, this absolutely fucking insults me. It's stupid. Luckily, this shit is only temporary. It's only lasting from the 22nd until the 25th, which is kind of weird that they even would do some temporary game mode like that. But it's legit embarrassing. As somebody who's a member of this community, who considers themselves a member of the Call of Duty community, this shit's embarrassing. Like, if you're ever arguing with somebody about which FPS games are better than others, they can just say, gesture warfare, and you fucking lose that argument. You fucking lost. On the topic of Infinite Warfare, we have their Zombies mode. Now, I actually haven't heard anything necessarily bad. I've heard it's not... I've actually heard it's kind of a good Zombies mode, but the premise of it is just fucking weird, man. You're like... You're playing as like four different actors, and you get sucked into like movies because the director has otherworldly connections. Like, that's the description I read of their Zombies game mode. Why can't it just be regular fucking zombies? Why do they always have to try to create new things and be different and be weird? They've done this in the past with uh, Call of Duty Ghosts. Instead of having a, a fucking zombies mode, that extinction mode where you're fighting like monsters or aliens or whatever the fuck they were. Like, they have a history of doing this. Two games in a row where they try to switch up and make zombies super edgy and cool and different and it fucking fails every time. On the topic of Call of Duty Ghosts, do you guys remember the fucking weed camo? How absolutely childish of a thing to put in your game. Like, I've never heard of this being involved in Call of Duty ever before, like camos and stuff. Obviously, the edgy meme lords will have it in their fucking emblem. That's really what this is for. Like, this is to sell this shit to the fucking teenagers that smoke pot, because there's the whole meme of, like, 420 Blaze and people smoke weed and play Call of Duty. That's a whole thing. So they decided to come up with a fucking weed camo. Maybe it's marketing genius. I'm sure they made a fuck ton of money off of this. I don't remember how much it cost, but I can guarantee you there's a shitload of those edgy dudes that bought this shit back in the day. Speaking of Call of Duty Ghost and smoking weed, do you guys remember the fucking Snoop Dogg voice pack? That has got to be, like, the worst piece of... D is it DLC? I don't even know. It's got to be one of the worst things they've ever added to Call of Duty. Oh, shit. The bomb has been planted. Ground jam I'll be wrecked him on. Yeah. You motherfuckers want good shit, cuz. I appreciate the way y'all handled that business. 
That is one of the most cringy things to listen to. It's unbelievable how fucking stupid that shit is. I don't know what's worse between Snoop Dogg voice pack and fucking Infinite Warfare gesture gesture warfare or whatever the case. Probably gesture warfare, that's probably worse, but this shit was fucking stupid. Celebrities being involved in Call of Duty is nothing new. We had Kevin Spacey portraying Jonathan Irons in Advanced Warfare. We had Ice Cube doing like multiplayer voiceover for Black Ops 1, but he was actually really good because he's actually a pretty decent actor. I don't inherently have a problem with this, but it's a way to try to boost sales, which I think is stupid. And it's not how much you have to pay these dudes to do this shit. Like, Kevin Spacey's a big-time actor. You know, it's not how much you have to pay him. Snoop Dogg's a pretty big celebrity. How much do they have to pay him for that voiceover pack? Then you got something like Conor McGregor in Infinite Warfare. Like, how the fuck much do they have to pay him? He's not even a fucking actor or even a voice actor for anything ever. There's not how much it costs. Like, all that money paying these celebrities could be spent actually making the game, developing the game, making it better. I get that it's a way to, like, help promote the game and market the game, but all the same, it's just, it's not necessary. You could use anybody for those roles. Some other weird ass shit that they added to Call of Duty Ghosts were the Predator and fucking Michael Myers. Now these honestly aren't that bad. In a way they're actually kind of cool but it's such an unnecessary and weird crossover to have in Call of Duty. Now they are both just variants of the Juggernaut Maniac with like different abilities and things that are locked behind certain maps and you gotta earn them on those maps. So they're not just like characters and things that you can use whenever you want. But again, it's kind of weird. The Michael Myers character had just as much health as the Juggernaut, he ran faster, attacked faster, had no health regeneration, but you did regenerate health as you killed people. Also, once you turned into him, the Halloween theme would play in the background. The Predator was similar to a Juggernaut as well, I'm not sure if he had the exact same health or not, but he could do a hell of a lot more. He had the wrist blades which were fast melees, you could use the, sh the Predator's shoulder cannon which locked onto enemies and could one shot anything up to a juggernaut. Like it was devastating. You could turn invisible if you sat still for a while and once you died you would fucking activate a bomb on your wrist and blow up everybody on the enemy team. This shit was too powerful. Now again these crossovers are kind of cool I suppose but it's so unnecessary for a Call of Duty game and then we gotta talk money again. How much you have to pay these studios or whoever owns the rights to these characters to use them. Like, there's no fucking telling. And especially since with the Michael Myers character, you have the Halloween theme playing in the background as well. So you probably had to pay them for that. So it's just like, it's so unnecessary of a purchase and an addition to the Call of Duty series. But that's how Infinity Ward is these days. They don't give a shit what they add to the series. It doesn't matter if it's fucking weird or doesn't make sense. As long as they are making money. That's all that matters to them these days is producing shitty fucking content and getting as much money as they possibly can. Weed camo, Snoop Dogg voice packs, fucking Predator, Michael Myers, and goddamn Gesture Warfare. Like, I legit don't think I will ever buy an Infinity Ward Call of Duty ever again. Like, unless the next one that comes out is just mind-blowing or great or something. Like, it, it had to be amazing for me to want to buy it because I can't trust them after Ghost and Infinite Warfare. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts below on this. What do you think of Infinity Ward games? What do you think of some of the shit they've added to the series? It makes me fucking cringe. If you guys went on to enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on my notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake, cause I don't fucking care